hi guys welcome to placements ready in this video we will be discussing the problem steps by night which is a very famous problem so we are given a square chess board the initial position of knight and position of target is given to us and we have to find the minimum number of steps that a knight will take in order to reach the target position okay so let's understand the problem in more cl clarity so basically the knight position is 4 comma 5 okay so basically this is fourth row and fifth column from bottom and the target position is 1 comma 1 okay and here it is given that the indexing is one based so that is fine now we will take three steps in order to reach our target so here you can see from 4 comma 4 it goes to 5 comma 3 then from 5 comma 3 it goes to 3 comma 2 then from 3 comma 2 it goes to 1 comma 1 okay so i hope the problem statement is clear and these are the minimum three steps that are needed in order to get that knight from the given position to the target position okay and you can explore any other path that will be taking more than this number so let's discuss the problem in more depth so here you can observe that standing at a position x comma y the knight can move like basically it moves two and a half steps in chess right and then it can move here as well then it can move in this direction and it can move in this direction as well okay and this is also other other possibility this is another this is again another and this is the thing right so standing at x comma y it can move to so this will be x plus 2 and this will be y plus 1 so x plus 2 and y plus 1 okay again this will be x plus 2 and y minus 1 this will be x minus 2 and y minus 1 this can be denoted as x minus 2 and y plus 1 again this can be denoted as x minus 1 and y plus 2 similarly this can be written as x plus 1 y plus uh, 2 okay and this can be written as x minus 1 y minus 2 and x plus 1 y minus 2 so basically standing at position x comma y we have total eight possibilities for the knight to move so that is fine now we will be using a bfs algorithm in order to do this problem because as you might know bfs takes minimum steps in order to reach a given target okay so we will get to see this step by step so basically standing at a position x comma y we will have eight options in order to move okay so what we will do we will try to explore these options one by one so this will become more clear in the code when i will explain you so first of all what we will do we have the starting position of knight right so starting x is starting y is given to us similarly the target position which is ending x and ending y is given to us so what we will do we will first of all push this into the queue and also like initially the number of steps taken will be zero so we will have a queue of let's say vector of int and this basically this vector will contain starting uh, like uh, x coordinate y coordinate and steps okay so first of all what we will do we will push the starting position x comma x s comma y and initially steps taken will be zero now what we will do we will try to explore each and every possible option that we are going to see in code because the dry running it will be taking a too much time so we will get to know this in code don't worry for that and we will we will push 
the starting index or or you can say starting position and the steps and then we will try exploring each and every possible direction so i have previously told it in one of my videos that how can we have all the possible options so if you have not watched this video i will provide the link to it in the description you can check okay so basically we will be using a dx dy array so dx array will be having eight sides and dy will be having eight sides and we will use a for loop for int k equal to zero k less than eight and k plus plus in order to iterate on all the possible eight directions and what and our new x will be nothing but the previous x plus dx of k and new y will be equal to y plus dy of k right and we will uh, push it into our queue but before pushing it we have to check that these two are not visited as well as the new x and new y are in bounds what i mean by this like uh, new x should be less than uh, basically row size okay and new x should be greater than equal to zero similarly new y should be greater than equal to zero and new y should be less than the columns okay so we will check see the code in some while so this is how you can approach this problem and now as soon as you reach the ending position you will stop and whatever with the number of steps there you can return so i hope the intuition is somewhat clear to you don't worry it will get clear when you will see the code and uh, that is fine and this approach is used in a lot of problems so i will recommend it to learn this approach by whole heart okay so let's see the code so here you can see i have taken a dx dy array okay so how to create this you can watch my previous video on rotten oranges so that is fine and now this function bool is safe checks for the boundary condition so basically x should be greater than equal to 1 because here indexing is 1 based similarly x should be less than n similarly y should be greater than equal to n and y 1 and y should be less than equal to n and visited of x y should be 0 okay so here you can see i have taken a starting x and a starting y okay and I initialize it to the current night position which is given to us and similarly ending x and ending y now we created a queue of vector of int and we will create a visited array of size n plus 1 and n plus 1 and initialize it to 0 why n plus 1 because again the indexing is 1 based now we will push our starting position as s comma x and s comma y with 0 because initially the number of steps will be nothing but 0 and we will mark it as visited now we will iterate on our queue so we will take out the front element from the queue and our x will be nothing but cur of 0 and y will be nothing but cur of 1 and our current depth will be nothing but 2 or you can say it as steps okay and if x is equal to ending x and y is equal to ending y which means we have reached the target position so we can return the answer in that case else what we can do we can explore all the eight possible directions so that is what i was telling i was telling in the explanation part so the new x will be nothing but x plus dx of k and new y will be nothing but y plus dy of k and we will check if it is safe for this new x and new y so we will push it into our queue and now my steps will be nothing but previous steps plus one and we will mark it as visited and it in the end if we are not able to reach the 
ending position we will return minus 1 so i hope the explanation as well as the code discussed in this problem is clear to you if you have liked this video please subscribe to our channel for more such amazing content